what up nerds welcome back to the channel welcome back to nerds on lockdown uh today i got another why the f did i buy this and uh as usual it's something that you know well why did i buy so um i got uh today another little handheld for you guys um this one is the 401 plus um that's all it says on the box here so uh yeah um it should be interesting. Uh, we're going to go ahead and open this thing and take a look at it. Um, it does support external gameplay. However, I'm probably just going to show you guys on the camera what it looks like on the LCD screen. Um, it has a TV out, an adapter in, power, reset, game keys, of course, uh, your D-pad, uh, volume, select, start. So uh, it does say it's a digital game system, 3 inches, super wide LCD. Uh, the console is slim, portable, and trendy. Um, a digital multi-platform device can play on TV. Uh, the backlit function of the screen ensures can play anywhere. Oh, China. Uh, with powerful rechargeable battery pack, that is one cool aspect of it. Um, an AC adapter uh, and a lithium-ion rechargeable battery of six hours of continuous play. So that's what we got in this box, so let's uh, head on over, and uh, let's unbox this bad boy, and let's check it out, and uh, let's go. Alright guys, we're back, we're going to open up the 401 Plus Support External Gamepad Double Against. I mean, that's what it says. So, uh, let's go ahead and open up and check it out, and uh, see what's in it. Uh, we have our... Toilet paper manual. Nothing much here. Probably all in uh, Chinese. I would imagine. Yeah. Uh, no, there's some uh, there's some English there, so we'll throw that away. And, uh, ooh, some cheap plastic, I feel, already. There we go. And I got the red one. I didn't know which one. So, nothing else in the box. Throw that over there. And uh, here is the bad boy here. And we have some cables here. We have the aux cable to, well, the RCA cable, aux RCA cable. And the charging cable. This is a USB. Oh, it's, it's, a, it's not even a USB micro. It's a USB mini. So even old school. Let me get this bad boy out. Okay, so in the back here we have a charging uh, battery here. This is a... DL5C for those that want to know. Um, here we have, I believe, a volume. Let me. Oh, my camera won't. Anyways, it's a vol. It's a volume switch. There we go. Volume switch. On the other side, nothing. On the top, we have our on/off, our charging port to the TV here, and uh, that's about it. On the front, we have our XB, XYBA start select uh, reset button here and our D-pad. Right off the bat, the D-pad feels okay. Um, the buttons are a little bit too round for my taste, but that's okay. Um, so let's go ahead and turn this bad boy on, and let's check it out and uh, see uh, see what's on it here. All right, so we have Chinese, we have English. We've seen this menu before, haven't we? And, uh, well, this is new, though. So 401, we have a Super Mario Brothers, Mario 14, Super Mario Bros. 3, Dr. Mario, Mario Bros., Turtle 1, Turtle Fighters, Contra 24 and 1. And if we go all the way back to 400, I'm sure they're all going to be the same game, so... We'll check it out and we'll see. Let's start with Super Mario Bros. The classic. There we go. Not bad. Not bad. Now I am playing through my my camera here, so it's a little hard to see. Uh, but anyways. Yeah. I will say the D-pad feels good, but it's... It's a little lag. There's a little lag. It's a little hard to to um, 
there's a little lag on everything, pretty much. Yeah. All right, reset. Back to English here. Let's try... Let's try Turtles 1. See what that's all about. Okay, it is Turtles 1. Interesting. This game is just definitely, definitely hard. Okay. Now let's go all the way back to the... Uh, let's try Ninja 2. What is this? All right. I have no idea what this is, guys. If you know, let me know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I guess jump. Kill these guys. It's interesting. Hmm. Um. What else do you guys want to see? Let's see. I'll go all the way back this way. Let's go into the... I don't know. Let's go into the... Go somewhere around here. Ninja 2 again. So the first one I did was Ninja 2, or Ninja or Ninja 2. Let's see, it's the same game. Now this is a different game. What is this? Huh. Ninja Gaiden? Seems like, to me. Yeah. It's not Ninja Gaiden 1. It might be 2. I'm not too sure. was never really familiar with the Ninja Gaiden games. But, yeah. Like I said, I'm playing through the my camera screen, so it's really hard to see. Let's go back to the uh, the main menu here. And, uh, I don't know. Let's try one more game, guys. Ice Climbers. That's an old school one, huh? There we go. Ice Climbers. Yeah. It's been a really long time since I've played this game. I died. All right, guys. So that is the 401. Uh, I guess whatever the hell they called it was it the plus. Um, <laughs> let's see. Let's let's remind ourselves what this was. The 401 support external gamepad double against. Um, if you guys like this video and want me to do more, let me know. I do have some more um coming up. Um, on the uh, WTF series is what I like to call it. Uh, why the fuck did I buy this? Um, so let me know. And uh, yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think about this and think about clone systems in general and um, what you think about, you know, sort of all these ROMs stuffed in there and how they kind of go about things. It's, it's really interesting to, to kind of see and, and, uh, and experience. So, um you guys have fun out there. Stay safe. Stay cool because I know it's a little hot right now. And uh, we'll see you uh, next time, all right? Peace out, guys, and bye.